As a lover of all things not too feminine nor masculine, I love androgynous silhouettes, so the pairing of a blazer dress and a baker boy hat just makes sense to me. These hats are often styled quite casually, so I like this more elevated look because of the juxtaposition. And to keep the outfit a little more feminine, I paired it with some pointed mules that elongate the legs and some rounded sunnies to soften the look. This next outfit pays homage to one of my favorite songs by one of my favorite bands, Honey and I by Haim. If you haven't listened to that song, you're welcome. I really like the loud red print of the font paired with this mustard yellow jacket, and the boxiness of the jacket also matches with the cropped bootleg fit of the jeans that I'm wearing. And I love white with denim, so I added my white leather heels for my shoes. This third look is inspired by Bella Hadid, who is someone that has been really sporting the Baker Boy hat as of recently. The focal point of this look has got to be the zip-up denim skirt with chest cutouts. I really wanted to play up the optical illusion and the oddity of the skirt, so I actually paired it with a tight nude mock neck. From far away, you'd think I was naked, which is totally my intention, and I added some crazy chunky boots and rounded sunnies for a 90s vibe. Nothing is more chic to me than a good two-piece set. And this two-piece set is from Eggy, which is a part of Jenim's clothing line. And it's got a little bit of casual but formal in it, which is exactly what the Baker Boy hat screams to me. I really love how wide leg these culottes are and the subtle plaid print on both of the pieces. They just seem really complimentary to the hat. And to keep the outfit simple and light, I wore my really thin and dainty slip-on mules that I recently got from Dolce Vita. They have a really cool slanted heel as well. Mm -hmm. 